So, I, okay, let me just give you a, a, a high level view of what's happening here, okay? okay. So I'm going to show you just a quick diagram here of everything that's going on here. And it's also, uh, actually it's not back there, but anyway, we're talking about three areas that we're, we're, we're demonstrating here. Mm -hmm. It's the multi-domain controller, which really focuses on a hypervisor technology that's running a QNX hypervisor that maintains control of QNX cluster and Android operating systems running on a single Snapdragon processor. The second area that we're talking about is our passenger displays. Those passenger displays are these two displays, but also the rear seat entertainment as well. Okay. The third area that we're talking about here is our wireless broadband. So that means LTE gigabit download speeds, Wi-Fi Bluetooth, as well as um, gigabit uh, 802.11ad uh, Wi-Fi inside the car. Okay. <clears throat> now, so if we talk a little bit about the functionality here, I mentioned that these three displays are being driven by one Snapdragon processor. Mm. We can bring the cameras in. So in this case, we have six cameras on the outside of the vehicle. We no longer have mirrors. So right. each mirror has been taken out and we, we replaced them with cameras. Now if I wanted to show you a, a, a much more taxing situation, let me go ahead and increase that to now we are now showing all six cameras on the vehicle, right? All being driven by one Snapdragon processor. Okay, so we can now maintain all, all, the, all the functionality. All, we have 60 frames per second, always calculating what, what the frame rate is in our cluster to always maintain the performance on our digital cluster. Okay, now. Um, let's talk a little bit more about our passenger displays here. Let me go ahead and turn this off here. So now, <clears throat> from any from this main display here, I can almost control any display here. Oh, wow. So if I wanted to, I could change displays. I could put map here, map here, map there. I can span maps across both screens, right? So now I can control that. I can go back to the display and do this. I can send voice commands. <clears throat> now, let's go back and take that off. Uh, let's see, I want to go back here and take this off. So if I wanted to, <clears throat> I can go to now my audio tab here and start streaming music over iHeartRadio. This is all coming from the cloud. <clears throat> now, what we've also is enabled, all the rear seat entertainment displays can also control this. So all the um, um, tablets back there can change music. Oh, okay. and, can, and all that, when they change it, it changes up here. Mm -hmm. Now, if I wanted to, I could also then take this concept to say, you know what, I want to expand it for, uh, for video. So in this case, I want to go to uh, my video tab here, and then I want to say, you know what, I want to send this video to my left side, and I want to send this video to my right side, mm -hmm. and now I want to send, let's say, this video to my center screen. So now I'm playing three different videos on three different vi uh, <laughs> screens, okay? Oh, wow. <laughs> <clears throat> now. In that case, how's, how's the sound playing? In this case, the sound for this, this screen, comes out the car speakers. The other one has Bluetooth head headsets. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. Okay, now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Yeah. <clears throat> so the other thing we kind of talk about is that was content that let's say we we had inside the car. Let's say you have content on your phone. So in this yeah. case, let's say I had uh, my YouTube session, and now I want to be able to cast my YouTube session mm -hmm. directly to the screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my button here, and I'm going to cast directly to the screen over uh, 802.11ad, uh, okay? Mm -hmm. So, But now that's, that's, is it loading it? There it goes, okay? And that should be coming out my car speakers. Let's say I didn't want to do that. Let's say I wanted a screen mirror directly whatever I'm showing on my phone. So in this case, let's go ahead and try that. So I have my screen mirroring app. <clears throat> so now, whatever I show here, I show here. And I can do that to any screen in the car, okay? Okay. Now, <clears throat> this let's take that off <clears throat> the other thing that we talk about is our connectivity so this is an 802.11 um, a cellular Vita X enabled car what that means is is Vita I Vita infrastructure vehicle to vehicle mm -hmm. so we have the, the light post out there and that's been enabled with our C Vita X module right. okay and I'm gonna enable my C Vita X notifications in the car so here I'm gonna enable C Vita X notifications and now what's gonna happen is when that guy turns red, when the street light turns red, it's gonna be sending messages over the air mm -hmm. and it's gonna tell my car how much longer it's gonna take before it turns green again, okay? So I think it's on a 30 second timer. So in a few seconds here, it's gonna go, it should go red and then I'll get a notification pop up here. Okay. Now, let's hope it does. <laughs> and when it does, it's also sending all the information across it. So there it goes, it's gonna to go to yellow, it's gonna to go to red mm -hmm. and I'll get my notification pop up here. It says, oh, okay, now there's 28 seconds before uh, my car is going to be able to go again. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not only sending time to green, time to red, time to all that information. <clears throat> we're going to send crosswalk information. So when this guy turns green, 
that crosswalk is going to be flashing that since someone uh, uh, selected the crosswalk icon. And what's going to happen is my car isn't going to worry about it until I want to, if, unless I turn my turn signal on to note that I'm turning right, that I may have to be worried that I might run over that person. So now it's green. Oh, okay. My notification went away. Right. And turn my turn signal on so I'm turning right. There you go. So now I'm turning right, and now it's saying, hey, wait a minute, oh. there's a crosswalk setting. Someone press the crosswalk, don't hit that person, right, basically, right. right? Okay. Okay. Now if we turn it off, it should go away at some point here. Because I'm not done. Okay. Right. Yep. So I think that is most everything that I'm showing. That's cool. You know, this pillar sometimes, you know, um, bothers the view to see the person. Yeah. You know, the other day I was on the Uber car. And yeah. He, the guy almost hit the person because he couldn't see it. Oh, the because of the A pillar here. here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a there's a lot of technologies that they're building in displays into yeah. the A pillar here oh. that actually have camera views that show you exactly what your what what that would be what that would be on the other side of that. Oh, all right. <clears throat> a lot of different technologies that are mm. people are showing, and eventually, um, the driver isn't going to need to know about it. Right, right, because true. autonomous cars are right. going to see, are, like all the cameras, they're going to see everywhere. Right. And they're going to have all the radar and the LIDAR and all the CV to X notifications. So everything will be connected. We have so many sensors that, hmm. you know, the, the driver is really going to be worried about, well, what movie should I watch? <laughs> <laughs> right? That will be so nice. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. All right. So cool.